each one of us, our Creator made us for a specific use. And it's up to us to have those conversations with our Creator so that we could see more of what He wants for us. That being said, I was I was doing like a devotional today and I was like, God, my creator, I want I want you to show your light in me and let it shine. And um help me to not put the light out. So I started reading a scripture from you version and at the beginning of the day it always gives you a verse of the day the verse of the day as i would have it i have to share it it's from matthew 5 16 and it says here's another way to put it you're here to be a light i was just praying that bring out the god colors in the world the creator is not a secret to be kept. We're going public with this, as public as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, if I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? <laughs> I'm putting you on a light stand, a light stand. Now that I've put you there on a, on a hilltop, on a light stand, shine. Keep open house. Be generous with your lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God, the creator, this generous father in heaven. I thought that was really, really, really dope. Why? Because I just, you know, my devotion, prayed and talked about those things with my creator. And then here it is. Like, this thing, like, it happens every day, but there's something different every day. So the fact that I had a passage about light, when I was asking about light, I figured I need to share it with you so that you could be a part of this light. We have all been put on this earth for a reason. And I think it's just up to us and it's incumbent upon us to, to find out the reasons why. Um... 2020 has dealt us a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of, yeah, but we're still here. We are still here. So as I heard Taraji P. Henson say before, we're all put on God's playground for a reason. And so it's not for us to kill, cheat, you know, um, pillage each other of what we do have, but it's for us to add to the world, to for us to add to our existence, to for us to add to each other's existence. So let's live, baby. Let's live life as much as we possibly can. And I'm talking to myself because God knows I've put myself, you know, put my light, let it, you know, damper, let it kind of soak because of the problems of the world and everything that I've probably gone through. But my admonishment to myself and to you is for us to uh, shine our light. Shine the light. And think about it as your creator. He's our creator. Not all that mysticism that we hear in religion. It's That could get really convoluted and uh, based on, you know, a man's idea, religion. But when you connect spiritually, it's you directly with the God source, with the creator who made you. And I think that's the best way to live. In fact, that's the way that uh, I'm uh, shaping my life each day. So take care. Let your light shine. Gotta let it shine. Gotta let it shine. Gotta let it shine.